Okay, so let's go ahead and solve the equation. 2 thirds x plus 4 equals 8. And we'll do this step by step here. Okay, so here it is. 2 thirds x plus 4 equals 8. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. Now I've kind of highlighted where I want to write that. And if you're not using this format, I strongly encourage you to uh, use the format that I'm doing here. Okay, I think it's going to really help you um, see the work or see the process unfold. So I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides of the equation, just like this. And now what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be adding down. Okay, you kind of always add down in a column manner. Now you're not going to draw these lines as I, I've done here. I'm just doing this to help kind of guide you through this, this uh, process. So we have 2 thirds x plus nothing. There's nothing underneath that 2 thirds x, but when I add 2 thirds x plus nothing, all I have is 2 thirds x. Okay, now we have a positive 4 plus a negative 4, that's 0, so that goes away. I have my equal sign and I have 8 plus a negative 4, which is simply just 4. Now let's take a look at what happened. Okay, we had our original equation and we now kind of rewrote that equation down to this uh, smaller equation. And that's the whole type of thing when you're solving equations is you're taking steps, okay, step by step by step to rewrite the equation until you finally you have the easiest, most simplest equation, which is x equals some number, and that is your solution. Okay, so that's the way I think you should think of solving equations, um, that you're, you know, you're basically rewriting the equation in a simpler and simpler manner. Now, the steps that you're taking, okay, we take all ty different types of steps when we're solving equations, but remember, the key thing is that whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other. Okay, so in this case, the first thing I did was um, add or subtract uh, 4 from both sides of the equation. Remember, it's always both sides. All right, so now we're, we're down to 2 thirds x equals 4. I'm going to write this down here. 2 thirds x equals 4. So remember, I want to get x equals, and really that's 1x. So how can I take this 2 thirds x and just turn that into a 1x? Well, that's real easy. All you have to do is when you're dealing with a fraction in front of a number is multiply that fraction by its reciprocal. In other words, take the fraction right here and just flip it upside down. Okay, so 2 thirds, if I flip that upside down, I get 3 halves. But remember, okay, if I'm going to multiply the left hand side of the equation by 3 halves, I also have to multiply the right hand side of the equation by that same 3 halves. Okay, you always have to be fair when you're solving equations. Okay, so 2 thirds times 2, excuse me, 3 halves times 2 thirds x is going to be what? You hopefully remember how to multiply fractions. Okay, that's going to be 1x, okay, or simply x. And now we have to go and figure out what 4 times 3 halves is. Okay, and I remember I remember fractions, I remember how much students love uh, doing them. Okay, so let's just do a quick review. Remember when you multiply fractions, you always multiply the numerators, okay, and then you multiply the denominators across. So this would be four times three, that's 12. One times two is two, so that is gonna be equal to six. So our, our solution is x equals six or one x equals six, they're equivalent. Okay, so this is just one example of one equation. Uh, please come on over to our site, algebratesthelper.com. We have tons and tons and tons of free resources, uh, plenty more videos like this, and a lot of great stuff to help you uh, master math. Have a great day.